He mm-hmm. was even the one that came and told me that oh, it was just a. And I was like, did you even hit my ass? Was it in the party? <laughs> so last night I saw a different version of Oyeka. I mean, I know that Oyeka is always in a mix of different conversations, but I never saw Oyeka as being a delulu. Guys, last night Oyeka was delusional, and we're gonna talk about it today, okay? I always felt like if there was anybody that you would be comfortable not to bring you out of your shell, it would be somebody like me. Every single conversation I have with Oyeka is never about that. <laughs> Hey my loves, welcome back to my channel. My name is Austin Betha. I'm excited to have you here. Now, if this is your first time coming across my channel, you are most definitely welcome. I'm excited to have you here. Do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also, make sure to click on the bell icon just so you get notified every single time. And the best option would be to click on the all so that you get notified at all times. Okay, I'm so excited to have you, and of course, I'm sure that the rest of my Bethans are as well. Now to my returning Bethans. I love you so much. You guys know this already. And, you know, without wasting any more time, let's just get into some of the, you know, talking points from last night, okay? So, I remember that we had this conversation last night where we were talking about Oyeka and, you know, some of us just saying, oh, that's her game plan. She told us from the beginning that she's going to be doing a lot of this, a lot of that. And, guys, to be honest, I have no issues with that. Again, like I always say, anything you have to do to remain in the game, then please go ahead and do it. But then it doesn't mean also that when you do those things, we're not going to talk. I'm going to speak on it because some of you keep telling me oh but i just allow oyeka she's playing her games the fact that she's playing her games is the more reason why i should talk about it don't you guys agree because that's why we're here to analyze the things going on in the house okay and so for this morning guys let's start off with oyeka and the whole shalaye that she was doing last night now shalaye basically just means you trying to explain yourself to like one too many people just about anybody that cares to listen okay oyeka was doing a lot of that last night and for me i'm like girl can you keep quiet? Keep quiet because this is your lies, eh? I don't can't really know. It's better so you can't they compete with Chiwe. Chiwe come out now, you wear the crown sharply because, guys, Oyeka was lying so much last night and it just made me cringe a bit. Like, girl, but then again, now, lawyer. Mr. The lawyer says, I'll be lying. There's a big lie because this girl was practically telling Sean that she doesn't even remember Suj spanking her butt. I'm like, girl. You they lie, I beg. You they lie. Which I'm saying, you don't remember where she tap you. Sometimes I'm saying, now you even use your mouth. Tell the guy, say, spank me, spank me. Because the guy told you, Oyeka, you are being naughty. If I spank you now, they go they talk. You now say, hey, you spank me, spank me. The guy now spanked you. You are now there saying, you don't remember. You are now trying to make it seem like, oh, there was a second situation where he spanked you in the party. Then when they're asking you again, do you really say he spanked you in the party? She said, no, I told you guys that he, he pushed me forward. Madam, pushing you forward and spanking you will not be the same. They say spank. What they, when they say they tap you for nyash for that kitchen, when they say you they test noodles. Something that I remember, not be me, they spank, oh, I remember. You call it life or they say you not remember. Guys, for me, that was just, mm, I don't know what that was. But, you know, aside from that conversation about the whole spanking thing and whatnot, she kept on talking and talking about the whole OZ and Victoria situation. She had a conversation with Sean, you know, about this. She had a conversation with OC and, of course, um, Sean. Sean was also there in the kitchen. Like, literally, she was talking to any and anybody that cared to listen. And instead of her to still admit that, okay, yes, I kind of like you, but then again, you know, we already have this bestie vibe going on and all. You still did, there. Yeah. They won't make her feel like, say, okay, oh, Victoria is the problem victoria is not the problem and for me i'm like okay if this wasn't even a deep conversation for you why would you speak to victoria twice already about this whole thing she spoke to victoria twice about this whole ozzy situation in the past week in fact victoria told us you know during her conversation with ozzy that there would have been a third time if not that she left that space you know she left that environment so that you know oyeka would not have the time to speak to her about it guys and even in that conversation ozzy was having with victoria in the lounge for me, what I could deduce from that is, you know, Ozzy literally just told us that, you know what, I have zoned everybody out, you know. That's what I could get because how are you telling Victoria that, yes, um, you know that you share a very good friendship with, you know, Onyeka and all of that. But then you also pointed out that, yes, you have a relationship. You know, I told you guys that from the beginning, he already told us that he has a relationship outside. And no, he's not OC who's expecting a baby soon with his engaged girlfriend. Mm-mm. Don't mix them up together, okay? But the fact still remains that Ozzy has a girlfriend outside. And, you know, coming into the house, he already made it known to Onyeka. I think I mentioned this to you people one time too. He made it known to Onyeka that, yes, I like you and all of that. But it's not going past this. You know, we're just friends. We're, we're friends. Like, 
I see you as my sister. I see you because for me, I felt like they were doing this whole brother sister situation thing, you know, with Oyeka and you know, um, Chizoba. And I know that it's quite easy for a girl to now start liking, you know, a guy differently, and vice versa too. I think it happens to guys. So guys, please let me know if that happens to you. You start off as a friend, you know, to someone, and then before you know it, you start developing some other feelings, you know, emotions that were not there in the first place. Let me know. But the point is, Ozzy made it very clear to Onyeka, and then even when he was not talking to Victoria, this guy now opened his mouth to say. So even like you now, and um, Victoria, I felt like you know I was the only person that could bring you out of your shell. And man, I'm like, okay, so does this mean that you don't really have feelings for any of these girls? I mean, I knew that already because for me, I felt like Ozzy was playing a game. I told you guys that I felt like Ozzy was playing a game. And this guy has found a way to wiggle himself out of this whole situation. It's just Oyeka that is still there, shala ye and shala ye. Because Victoria was asking him, are you sure you did not give her any signal? Are you sure you were not leading her on? And he was like, no, I didn't. In fact, I was very clear about, you know, how I feel towards her and all of that. And for you now, is there anything wrong with being friends with anybody? I mean, I just felt like it would be okay for someone like me, you know, that has my personality to bring you out of your shell. I'm like, I still what you did there bro you just literally told her that you know it's nothing deep and to be honest again it's a game play your game play it well but oyeka i don't know if this is also still part of her game you know not wanting to lose god not wanting to be caught on fresh because she's literally still trying to lie about everything that ebuka exposed last night because ebuka literally exposed this girl last night and she was still there trying to do the whole damage control thing which for me or in my opinion it was not working but then again if that's also part of her plan if you think that that's also part of her plan then let me know in the comment section okay now moving on from oyeka guys what did i tell you about wani Ah, oh, I'm never gonna forgive him. Oh, I have broken things up with him. I'm not going back to him. He's this, he's that. I'm never doing this. I'm never going to forgive him. I never what did I tell you last night? I said until I see with my eye. And then they believe Jack. And then they believe Jack. Because tell me why you vent so much, you know, with your sister and of course with uh, Chisoba. You were really telling them, no, you are done, you are this, you are that. You said so much in that garden where you guys were seated there. You are not going back. Him too, he was this. How can someone that I do his laundry, I cook for him. Everything he asked me to do, I do for him. How can he do this to me? I'm never going back. I'm done. <laughs> you talk, finish. Just small truth or dead game where they say, okay, kiss Sean. You could not say no. You could not say give me drink to drink. You carry your mouth. Oh, no, 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 you go the kiss her. That one not still do you. Because if I say, okay, now nah, game. Even though that game, I'm not going to play him. I'm not going to kiss him. I'll ask for somebody else. Because I want to make my points to you. I want to drive my point home. I'm not going to kiss you. But no, you say, okay, you kiss him. I say, better. Calm, calm, calm down. Let's see if she's still going to give us the drama. Little did I know that this girl will still end up on Sean's bed. Now, for Sean's bed, she sleep for nights. Wake up this morning. Why you not feel sleep with another person for in bed? Why you not feel go sleep on top handy bed? What must it be Sean? Must it be Sean? Yeah, I'm done. Uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, they know they are that person where they love. Now, I know they put my mouth for all this, but I'm going to say, last, last time, I'm going to look like the idiot, but thankfully. I smart pass like that. And then they, and then they believe I this down there. Hey, 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 hey. I beg you. I beg you. Now for sure, best you sleep. So it is safe to say that before smutting now, they, they don't set. If the boy just use that accent now. No, oh, you know, I feel like I feel like or hmm. anyway, anyway. Like I said, I did not believe her when she was saying all of those things. So, I'm not surprised. And I'm sure that you guys are not even surprised as well. But let me know. Were you surprised by that? <laughs> now, before I end this video, let's talk about the conversation that, you know, a few of the female housemates had last night. You know, after the whole eviction, you know, the Zinwe eviction. There was a conversation between Cassia and, of course, Victoria. And there was another conversation between the Wani twins and Unika. And it was them all just talking about, you know, Chinwe and, you know, some of the symptoms they've been noticing. So, basically, yeah. In their conversation they were kind of insinuating that you know chiri was actually pregnant because you know she was nauseous she was vomiting the entire week and you know she tried to get big brother's attention you know just maybe see big brother in the dining room and all of that but big brother wasn't really paying her any attention so me listening to all of this is like okay does it mean that big brother doesn't just want to sort of let chiri be embarrassed on national tv you know could that be the reason why she had to leave now this is not to say that chiri had not been in the bottom four and whatnot in the past weeks and all of 
that but just seeing the whole dynamic of the game do you really think that you know this has anything to do with you know the pregnancy because i know we talked about this last night but even though we spoke on it last night we had not listened to these conversations you know by these female housemates so now hearing this does that change anything do you think differently about the reason why the zinwe pair had to leave last night just let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section and to be honest if that was actually the reason then for me that's fair enough because again the stigma will be terrible you know it will not be nice oh my goodness it wouldn't so if if for some reason the universe just decided you know what chiwe you have to leave today then if that's the reason the universe did this then thank you universe i mean i don't know what else to say i'm so happy universe because <laughs> nah that would not end well but then again let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section okay of course you guys know that today is monday they will definitely have their head of house challenge today and of course the live nominations that would all happen you know later today you know in the evening slash night because biggie yeah be the waste time sometimes but yeah guys of course i'll come to you guys at that time with you know more information and more gist but in the meantime let me know your thoughts if you have not subscribed to my channel please go ahead and click on the subscribe button give this video a thumbs up because like i always tell you guys it tells the algorithm that you guys like my content and you want them to recommend to more people so please go ahead and tap on that thumbs up button now thank you guys so much for being here i love you so much and of course i will see you guys on the next one okay bye